What's up, beautiful sunflowers? Welcome back to my channel. since I've posted a video. The last video I posted was of my trip to Philadelphia in 2018. A lot has changed since then. I left off just graduating with my master's in social work. I was not yet employed. I think a couple months after that video, I did get a job as a social worker at a hospital and I've been doing social work ever since. Today I am a hospice social worker um, and I've been a hospice social worker for about four months. Within the last two years, I've traveled a lot and that was kind of the initial dream of this channel was to document all of my travels. Kind of got behind because of work. I stopped filming and I there's so many different stories in the last two years that I want to share. My tips and tricks of how to travel cheap, how to travel often, how to make the most of the money that you have if you do desire to travel. I have lots of stories of things that went amazing and things that maybe I would try differently or do differently. I want you guys to learn from my victories and from my mistakes. The most exciting thing that has happened to me recently is that I bought an RV. I've been kind of toying with the idea of buying an RV for the last few years. I looked at different models, different makes, did I want to buy used, did I want to buy new, and really I've thought about this for a really long time. And a week ago, I found the perfect RV for me, guys. I'm very excited. I bought a Wolf Pup 2021 16FQ trailer. It's about a 17-foot trailer. It has a bathroom, a shower, a sink that's pretty big. It has a Murphy bed that's a queen size, a kitchen, a stove top with two burners, um, a refrigerator that has a freezer section and a fridge. It's pretty big. A kitchen area that turns into a, another bed, closets, and lots of storage. If you know anything about RVs, it's pretty hard to find a small RV that has all of that included. And I was happy to find this trailer. I don't need a lot of room, but also I don't want to be driving something that's huge. I've never driven an RV before, but we're gonna learn. Originally, I had looked at some local dealers. I live in Florida. It's a retirement state. Everything's going to be expensive when it comes to retirement life RVing. When I went to my local dealer and I saw this uh, RV that I wanted, it was definitely way out of my price range. My goal was to spend about 15000 on a new trailer. I had decided after doing a lot of research that for me, buying a new trailer was the most feasible thing and how I wanted to use the trailer. The trailer originally was $23,000 at the dealer I went to in Florida. Because we live in a world of computers, I decided to look up to see if there was anywhere that I could find a cheaper trailer. And lo and behold, I found the exact trailer that I wanted for 10,000 less than what I was gonna pay here in Florida. And that trailer is in Missouri. So I put a down payment down and I am officially an RV owner. We're driving straight there just to pick up the trailer and straight back to Florida. I have really one, one mission in mind and that's to get the trailer to bring it back so I can start learning how to use it and hopefully start traveling soon once all of this COVID stuff has ended. I'm really excited to be back on this channel. I'm excited to share with you guys some stories over the last two years that have happened as far as traveling. I'm excited to show you my RV and you know, take you along the journey of learning how to use the RV, how to drive it, um, how to organize it. My goal is to, to eventually live completely debt free. That's kind of why I bought the trailer and why I'm hoping to move into the trailer. I'm hoping to um, utilize it and take advantage of this opportunity to get out of debt and to really travel, have a home on wheels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a little update of where I'm at in life right now. I am super excited for what's to come and kind of the goals that I have 
for the future of this channel and also just the, the goals I have to travel more and to post about it. I've been traveling, I just haven't posted it. I am excited to take you guys along on this journey um, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.